Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Deponia. Where, uh, the ass, that ass, who's standing in front of you is right here by my side, up on the bridge. Uh, who is standing in front of you? Um... Yes. Is only one of the 11,000 asses aboard this ship. <laughs> yes. Every single one of you is an ass. That's how we were constructed. That is our destiny. I know, I know. Why is he saying those things? Well, this is why. Uh, look at you, look at me, just look around. Just look at you. We're doing the dirty work for those up there. Do you think any of them would dream of getting their hands dirty? Blowing up the planet? Terrorizing Deponians? And all those other things we do? No! They're sitting comfortably on their fat asses. And those asses, my fellow bums, that's us! Oh my god, is this actually working? Just look at me. Just look at me! I know you all think I'm an ass. Because I'm acting like one. <laughs> but why is that so? Only because it is expected of me. As a superior, one is always half ass, half role model. And when I treat you shittily, you simply pass it on to those below you. In truth, the hierarchy is nothing but a chain of asses <laughs> giving each other shit. I was not expecting to talk this much about asses. Just look around. What are we actually doing here? Seriously. We're supposed to destroy a planet for which we don't give a rat's ass. For people who don't mean shit to us. Isn't it time to realize that we are the asses here? Then why don't we do what is expected of us? And shit on them! Come on, say it! We don't give a shit! Just look at our logo? What is our logo? Just look at our logo. Looks oh. like somebody put their butt on the photocopier during an office party. Uh-oh. And now I see it now. the result is proudly displayed on our banner. The print of a gigantic, flabby ass. So why be surprised when they treat us like asses? I could name you a thousand more examples. The fact is, we're the asses here. But is that something to be ashamed of? This is the I most, say, no. like, stupid speech ever. I, for my part, am proud of what I am. I am an ass. And you're all asses too. It's time to show the world what's inside us. Long live the Illuminon! <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Was it good? Very inspiring, like always. Great. Well, then I can go now. Uh, which way to the bridge? But, uh, what about the hymn? The him? Uh, exactly. Following each of your speeches, you lead us in our hymn. You can't have forgotten. Uh, 
yes. The him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. Orga non. Oh, Orga non. Instructions. Frankly, Rufus is ama Rufus amazing. Sing voice is wasted on these people, but anyway, you should give him a hand and click the lines of the staff. Man, click the lines of the staff to alter pitch and notes until the melody comes out properly. Orga non. Oh, Orga non. Oh, oh, or non. Or non. Oh, or non. Oh, oh, or non. Or non. Oh, or non. Oh, oh. Orga I think the O's have to be here, so O. Orga non. O Orga non. O O Orga non. Orga non. O Orga non. O O Or. Non. Okay. Orga non. Oh, Orga non. Oh, oh. So all the O's are on the bottom. Orga non. Oh, Orga non. Oh, oh. Orga non. Orga non. Oh, Orga non. Oh, oh. Orga non. That's not Orga right. Orga non. Oh, Orga non. Oh, oh. Orga non. Orga non oh oh non this is so weird oh oh or i don't non. know the pitch and i don't understand or what i'm clicking on in here non oh oh non oh oh or non or non Oh, oh, non. Oh, oh, or non. Oh, oh, they'll give me hearts when it's right. Or non. Oh, oh, non. Oh, oh, or non. Or non. Oh, oh, non. Shit. Oh, oh, or non. Okay, so these are right. Or non. Oh, oh, non. Oh, oh, or non. Orga non. We're gonna do this. Oh, Orga non. Oh, oh. Shit. Or this is the cheap way of doing this. Non. Orga non. Oh, Orga non. Oh, oh. Shit. Orga non. Orga non. Oh, Orga non. Oh, oh. Orga non. Orga non. 
Oh, oh, Ganon. Oh, oh, or Ganon. Or Ganon. Oh, oh, Ganon. This is wrong. Oh, oh, or Ganon. You're wrong. Or Ganon. Oh, or Ganon. Oh, oh, or Ganon. Or Ganon. Getting close. Oh, or Ganon. Oh, oh, or Ganon. This is the only one that's messed up. Or Ganon. Oh, oh, God, no. I got it. I oh, did it. Oh, oh, or God, no. I understand it. Yay. Yay! Oh, I can move here. Okay. We did it! I, I did the mini puzzle. Oh, God. Ah, Cletus! There you are. Where's your mysterious companion? I had hoped you would introduce me to the person who caused us so much trouble. Don't worry. She's on board. You should be more worried about the others who are also on board. Your precious bailiff Argus has moved the entire organ onto this high boat. What? That can't be true. Where is that treasure? You know, I've got good news and bad news regarding him. The bad news is someone's got to clean the floor of the elevator shaft. I don't think that will be necessary. Damn it! Now Argus, who's this? I don't believe it! You are trying to deceive me to bring the organ on to Elysium behind my back! Yeah, but he didn't reckon with me. Or oh, me! Oh, What's going fuck. on here? Who is that? I'm the real Cletus. He's just an imposter, which, strictly speaking, makes no difference. Plus or minus two zeros. My calculation turned out just right. This high boat is now under my control. Not as long as I can prevent it. Stop that! This high boat is no longer bound for Elysium. What? 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 I'm huh? certainly not going to jeopardize the Utopian project by taking an invading army to Elysium. I'm initializing the destruction of Deponia right now. Oh, Elysium fuck. will have to start on its journey a little sooner than expected. Stop, Ulysses, you fool! This is madness. This is Sparta. My decision stands. Don't try to stop me. But, but what? Uh, the Deponians. The Deponians. When you detonate Deponia, what will become of them? Enough energy to catapult Elysium towards the nearest inhabitable planet, I hope. Have you no conscience? Oh, I do, most certainly. But it is necessary. And you are not going to change my mind. But... But I have so many other options I can click on. But what about the Organon? What about it? The Organon was destined to be blown up all along. Ah, uh, I forgot. But... What about me? But what about me? I don't want to die. I know. You're the third prototype, aren't you? Yes. The tragic fate of the Alpha Generation has always fascinated me. That's why I took Argus under my wing back then. You may think you aren't one of them, but actually, it has always been your destiny to die, just like the rest of the Organon. And the fact that you don't want to die is simply due to a flaw in your design. But... you... But what about you? You're gonna die as well. True, but this is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. With all the suffering I have caused, I don't deserve better. Huh! So you've got a conscience after all. You don't have to do this. Oh, yes. I do. No, you don't. But why would you want to sacrifice yourself for the Elysians? Who or what 
is forcing you. I mean, Deponia may be no paradise, but it's possible to live there, and many people do. And not everyone down there was as unhappy as me. I know. I know the life down at the surface. I spent a long time there myself. Like a rat amongst the garbage. Oh my god, are you my father? Dignified life. Not for... For a bunch of stuck-up swellheads? Hey! If you really want to know, this is about my daughter. She lives on Elysium. I want a better life for her. On Utopia. Aww. I'm doing this for you, Gold. <gasps> no! You old fool! What have you done? What do you think? In a few minutes, a radio signal will be emitted from this high boat. It will activate all the blast towers around the planet. Gold's on the, the planet, man! Destroyed. She's and in the window! can finally set out on its journey to Utopia. I saved my daughter. That's what I have done. You didn't do shit, man. I'm afraid I have to contradict you, Dad. Go? What? What? How? I went to Deponia with Cletus. I knew you would never permit it. That's why I didn't tell you. The girl we were looking for was... You, the one who took pity on these junkyard dwellers and sabotaged our plans? This was about you the entire time? Can't we celebrate this family reunion some other time? Deponia may blow up any minute now. Including us! And also, what happened to Argus's daughter? spray tan? Exactly! What are you waiting for, Ulysses? Abort the detonation! But that's impossible! Can't we stop it somehow? The only way would be to destroy the antenna before the signal has sent. The transmitting antenna, of course. But the transmitter is on top of the upper deck. It would be a suicide mission. Who would be crazy enough to try? Ah, oh, shit. I'm in. So am I. And I. Well then, what are you waiting for? I'm coming too. You're staying here, Missy. You and I are going to have a serious talk. Well, shit. Well, great. We got a cable antenna. Oops, why does that always happen to me with antennas? Okay. <laughs> Good thing I don't, or any other sign of the Zodiac. Use the antenna on the cable. Here we go. Haven't got all day, you know. Yes. Yes. Whoa! <laughs> that was fun. Fun! You moron! You almost killed us! Oh, I've heard that so many times before, but never actually, you have killed us, and that makes all the difference. <laughs> That's quite enough. <laughs> I've had it with you. You will hold yourself back from now on. Leave the rest to us. So, how shall we proceed? You could jump. It's much too far. Or perhaps you could stop the rotor. Oh, don't be such a rufus. The rotors are keeping the high boat upright. Even if we could block it, the high boat would capsize. That would be the end of us. Huh. Hmm. They don't know what the fuck to do. Um. How are we supposed to get to that? Argus. You know, we could... Shut up. You know, we could... Shut up. Whoever would guess that the three of us would work together someday? Right? Whoever would guess. Can I push the button? You know, shut up. I don't you know. Shut up. Use it on yourself. Step aside. I've got a plan. Stop! Don't. <laughs> I hit it! <laughs> and who's the idiot now? You, of course. Same as always. Huh? Why? Just look. The transmitter fell into the rotor, and it keeps blinking like nothing happened. Huh. 
Oh, damn! It's still active! How are we going to reach it now? Um... Get the transmitter. Destroy the transmitter. Hmm. This has to be very simple. Or very stupid. There's a catwalk down there. I can see that. Any chance we could get there by jumping? Down there? Just how stupid are Very. You? Answer his question, Cletus. Excuse me. You're the inspector here, aren't you? Then let's hear your assessment of the situation. What are the odds? <laughs> Taking into account the rotation speed and the radius, the odds that we'd survive without being shredded by the rotor are about one in three. Hmm. Well, one in three isn't half bad. That depends. It roughly corresponds to your brain cells per head ratio. Yeah, well then let's just jump. Well, one in three isn't half. If the three of us all jump from different positions, at least one of us could make it. But that's insane. Have you got a better plan? No, oh, bugger off. It's all settled then. It's all settled then. We count to three, and then we all jump. Yay. One. Two. Jump. <laughs> three. Rufus? Rufus, wake up! I made it! Am I dead? I think I'm not dead. Ouch! What, what happened? You made it! Bravo! W where's Cletus? I don't think he made it, but I'm not quite sure. It all went down very fast. Now, do you see the antenna anywhere? I'm at it. Uh... A hole. Screw, screw. I can't reach it. I can't reach it from here. Take a screw, I guess. Uh. Yo, let's make this like a little fucking thing, right? I'll take these screws. Two screws. Oh, you know what? I'm about to kill myself. Screw this in. Come over here and take these two screws. This will loosen the platform. But if I come over here and take this screw... I won't die? Boom! Ha! I've got it! Do you hear me, Argus? I've got it! Very good. And now, destroy it! Piece of cake. <laughs> uh... So, I can screw this in here. I can throw it into the fan. I think this is the end of the game. We're just gonna keep going. I think we're about to save the day. Toss him in the no! rotor. What are you doing?! Destroying the transmitter. What else? You're not about to stick your hand in the rotor, are you? I knew you were an idiot, but the sheer folly of this really surmounts everything I've heard so far. Yay. <laughs> I did it. The transmitter is destroyed. Well, shit. The pony is safe. Yes, very impressive. But to make it a little more interesting, you blocked the rotor. Then help me up so we can get the rotor running again. It would be such a bummer if the high boat were to break apart at this point. After all, we're only a stone's throw from Elysium. Yes, that's an idea. Another idea would be to let you rot down there. Man, fuck you! Depends. <laughs> depends on what? Your decision. Will you help me with my coup against the Council of Elders? Yes. You what? Ah! What's going on? Something's blocking the starboard rotor. Is that bad? No idea. You missed a pony. We're about to crash? But, but we're almost there. 
I can already see the airlocks. The airlocks, you say? But of course! The maintenance ladders. Perhaps I can hold our position long enough so we can evacuate. Go and gather your friends together. And what about the Organons? Them too, of course. Now that the detonation has been cancelled, I hope that Argus will rethink his plan. I will inform the Council of Elders. Yay! But what Yay. about you? Go! There's no time for discussion! Go now! I refuse to believe this. You still intend to have the Organon invade Elysium? Why not? Where else could we go? I will never allow that to happen. Oh, come on, Rufus. Those soldiers down there are our brothers. We share the same genes. Basically, we're identical. Why should you be allowed to get to Elysium and not one of them? Or two or three? Where do you draw the line? Who gets to decide that? Me! You, perhaps? Yes! No, but so, uh, what do you say? Uh, over my dead body. Over my dead body! That's too bad, but it can't be helped. Somehow I knew you wouldn't cooperate. So long, Rufus. No, stop that! Well, shit. You rotten bastard! <laughs> Cletus! Or maybe an extra Cletus. God damn it, I'm so confused. Who's who? Oh, that ain't good. <laughs> there you are again. Ah, it hurts! <laughs> it's your own fault. <laughs> Ow. You're a fine one to laugh, but now we're all in the same boat again. I think I can free myself. Oh, God. Don't. The rotor is only stuck because we're all in between. As soon as one of us moves, it will start running again. Then we all die. But if we continue blocking the rotor, then the high boat will crash one way or another. We're dead. Just how did we manage to end up in this stupid situation? Don't look at me. You two messed it up this time. What? Can't come up with a cunning plan for once? Let me think. Nah, it's completely hopeless. So, we can relax then. Rufus! Cletus! Yay! Goal! Save me, baby girl! What's happened here? Doesn't matter. You have to get us out of here. Preferably before the high boat crashes. Yes, it's a little too late for that. Dad says that all these rotor failures have damaged the engines. He's able to hold the high boat in position for now. But evacuation has already started. We've only got minutes. Oh, great. Now everyone's getting to Elysium but me, right? Exactly. Get me out of here. You can only save one of us before the rotor starts turning again. No. There must be a way to get all three of you out. There's not. No, Kill there two isn't. of them. Come on, make a decision. How can I decide that? I don't even know who's who. I'm Rufus. I am Rufus. He's lying. I am Rufus. They're both bold-faced liars. I am Rufus. Oh, great. And now, can the real Rufus give me some sort of proof? Of course I can. Uh... I know something the other two definitely don't. I'm more handsome than the other two morons. Well, simply trust your heart. Huh. Let me see. My heart says, um, perhaps the one in front. What? No! Uh, forget the bit about your heart. There are more reliable methods. I know something that the other two definitely don't. Oh? Then what's that? Um... You're wearing your purple underwear today. Huh? When did you see my underwear? I, uh, oh, <laughs> I think my <laughs> fingers are slipping. <laughs> well, shit. Oh, great. Now we have to start over again. So, who's who? I am Cletus. What? That's not true. I am Cletus. Nonsense. I am Cletus. Wait a minute. Does that mean that among the three of you... Only Cletus is man enough to reveal his identity. It's what I had expected from Argus, but Rufus, after all we've been through, you don't even trust me enough to show yourself? You're right, girl. Uh, <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm Rufus, of course. Don't believe a word he says. 
I, I am, am Rufus. Rufus. Oh, really? Prove it. Well, I'm Spartacus. Who cares which of us is Rufus? Just leave us here and save yourself. The most important thing is that you survive. Ha! He just gave himself away. Exactly. The real Rufus, uh, that's me, <laughs> would never say such a thing. You're right. That really didn't sound like Rufus. Could it be possible that you changed that much? The real Rufus will never change. You know that. Then perhaps it's just another trick to look good. No, I, I... I'm not Rufus. It's true. I'm a save I'm goal. Not Rufus. Rufus, that's him. What? Uh, uh yes. I uh, yeah. Sure. He's right. Uh, I am Rufus. Is this a trick? A last desperate maneuver? You know, if I help him, it's too late to change your mind. You're going to fall and die. I'm absolutely sure. Definitely. Just think. How can I be the real Rufus? The real Rufus is never going to give up. He'll never change. And he'll never... Let go. Let go. Stop! I'm going to save goal for once. No! No! I guess Argus got shredded. <laughs> Come on, go. We need to get out. Come. <laughs> huh? Hello, Rufus! What? Barry! What are you doing here? You are my idol! You remember? And <laughs> I follow you everywhere. Oh, good. But seriously, I just wanted to tell you how much I admire what you're doing here. At first, of course, I was shocked, but then I did understand. Brilliant. Great. I'm Brilliant. not going to die alone. It was actually the only thing you could do. A genius plan, even from a philosophical point of view. The ultimate altruistic deed. Huh. Wow. Rufus, the oh-so-resolute Rufus, at last finally changed. <laughs> Well, shit. <laughs> Are you ready? I don't know. Do you really think this outfit is appropriate? But Rufus, everyone knows you're a Deponian. You remember that, right? You no longer need to pretend. Never again. You can simply be yourself. Forever. Rufus. But this is totally cool. Damn you, Cletus. Ah, here come our heroes, the saviors of Deponia. Well, a fine mess you got us into, if I may say so. Your report poses us a difficult dilemma. Naturally, now that we know Deponia is inhabited, our journey to Utopia is cancelled for the time being. But the high boat is destroyed, and the cable is cut. And with so many new citizens, our resources will be used up even faster than expected. What will become of Elysium? Are we forced to land on Deponia? Is that the solution? So many questions. I'm afraid I have no answers for you, Your Eminence. But this Deponian here is a true genius. Who? Me? If you're stuck for unusual ideas, his imagination knows no limit. Go ahead. Any suggestion will be welcome. Uh, but, Goal? You can do it. Well, uh, <coughs> uh, perhaps we could mount some rockets on Elysium. Go on. Or flying dragons. And if we put um, monster truck tires on a, a gigantic dirigible... Monster truck tires? Uh, then perhaps we could uh, train a few eagles. Go, oh, great. And, uh, Fantastic. Back to those flying dragons. How big would they have to be? Oh, oh, huge. With very large teeth. And they should breathe fire. The irony that Cletus has to be Rufus.
closing my case There's nothing left to say Any last questions? I take that as a no but If you feel better Your whole world is shattered I may have a helpful suggestion for you Just grab your harmonica and sing about the podia The roof is a stream of a life more ideal And the fact that sometimes there may be just one last chance to save the day If you let go, and if that's so, I'm off now for real is off now for real Yay! Oh... This was fun! But we know that this is not the end, because there is a fourth game. They have Deponia Doomsday, which I own, but we're not going to tie that into this right now. Because this is the complete journey, which is the first three games rolled into one big thing. Doomsday is its own entity. So because of that, we're going to take a break. And we're definitely going to do Doomsday someday, because this was fun. Granted, there were times where I got stuck, and I wasn't really sure what to do for certain parts of it. But I think that's mostly just me never playing a point-and-click before, and just fundamentally not understanding parts of the game. And then there are some parts of the puzzles where just I didn't understand the puzzles. And there was a few bugs here and there. Like, some of the puzzles not giving me hints or whatever. Like, the hint pages were just, like, broken for some parts. But that's okay. Because overall, throughout this entire game, I get a shitload of laughs. I enjoyed many of the characters. I enjoyed that kiss. Platypus fighting. All the platypuses. All the ridiculousness. It was just great. And I loved every single part of it. This was a good game. I like this. Oh. I accidentally skipped the rest of the credits. My bad. But yeah, this sums it up great. We're now leaving Deponia. Goal is on the high boat, or she's in Elysium. Cletus is now forced to be Rufus, which I'm sure the dumbing down of his intelligence is just insane for him. Rufus had to be alive. Rufus has to be alive. I mean, there's another game. He has to be live. God, I love this. This was fun. Uh, and for everyone who stuck around to this point, I know the episodes got longer, but thank you so much for staying with me on this journey. Because this was an amazing adventure. One that I will definitely continue with the next game at some point. But that's going to wrap it up for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next series.